Hello everybody, today we are going to Governor's Stables, which is date down in this woods, lots of rocks. I'm with Lewis here from Simply Explo Venturing. Um, one more person might be coming, but we're not sure. We're going to wait a couple more minutes and then we're going to head out. And you're coming with us. Gotta have a kiosk, you know, I'm lost without a kiosk. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> I wanna have a kiosk at my house or maybe on top of my car. Tell you, tell you how to get around your own house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and everything. Welcome to your you are here. You're at your own property. Alright. So I guess the official title is the Governor Stable Natural Area, and it's all about bouldering as far as I guess. Now I, ha I did come here once, I took some pictures last year, no video, there were some people here, but I didn't see any cars up there. But it's a, it's a nice kiosk, it's got shingles. And they got yeah. wood because they're going to be doing more replacements, are you still early mid-morning here? Yeah, it's quite pleasant. So there are two legends associated with where we're going today. One is uh, back in the 1700s, there was a horse thief used some of these caves as a place to stash his cool. his uh, his good his horses, and the other one was that in 1800, one of the governors of early Pennsylvania had to take shelter in the caves um, due to a, a very violent storm. Both of those scenarios are are very plausible in my opinion. So there might be some truth behind behind the legend. And here we have this cool bridge. Uh, yeah. I have this little. I can't remember if it was like this before. Well, no, I think it's broken. Yeah, it's busted. Because look at this right here. Yeah. Yeah, it's busted. Um, it's still. I thought this would be a normal straight bridge. It still works though. over the bridge. All right, here we go. I think this is, yeah, this is the first area. You can see the chalk here. Yeah, yeah you can see the chalk marks and stuff. Yeah, right the I like that one there. It's just sitting there. It's just like, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> And this is the exact same rock that you, that that Devil's Den in Gettysburg. Oh, cool! I mean, it's the exact same. same uh, yep. Same type. It's created for at the same time. Oh wow! It's the granite or diabase. diabase. Okay. Look at this big, big curved piece just peeled right off. It's almost, it almost looks like a bowl when you. Yeah. This one. Yeah. It can be a pretty technical sport. If, but this and, looks and like even a, though you think it's not a dangerous sport because if you're hanging off those cliffs right up there, you fall in 10, 15 feet, it's still going to hurt. Oh, yeah. They bring those big pads with them. Yeah. So but they, still, you know. Still, I mean, I know it. So they must, yeah, I mean, they might. a little bit. The question is like right here. So they 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 don't have much of an up. So this is where they start. They must have to like, like I mean, we're looking at some of these handholds here on what appears to be a pretty popular bouldering location. This whole location is open to bouldering, so you're going to see these white uh, splotches from the the talcum, the powder that they use, 
and but some of these uh some of the handholds are <laughs> ridiculously small That's yeah that as well. it makes sense to get good and strong right here where you don't <laughs> right onward this looks like a giant potato lewis said and i agree we try we spotted a situation where the tree one of these giant granite boulders is kind of leaning onto a tree causing it to grow funky yeah. kind of like when a tree swallows a, a sign yeah kind of situation this is a nice deck area right here wow here so, oh that's a good scale shot all right so this will give you a little idea of uh and there's more of it there kind of at the scale there's He's sitting down, that's the top, top half of his body. Here's some more chalk. Let's check this tree out. Ooh, there's a cave back there too. Now this tree here, I don't know, is that like a, a hackberry or I don't know, I have trouble with trees. Here, let's get up here. What we thought was cool was that right there. Yeah. And it is pretty cool. It's really like a big pancaking. It's pancaking out. Oh my God, yeah. It goes up that way. It's like. <laughs> now the light is really not in our favor right now. Now That's... look at this, there's a whole. I don't know if I was even back this one. Some smaller boulder caves. There's a shot looking out. And the tops of these boulders are look you're you're 20 30 feet off the trail right now right here that piece is going to go pop and that's how it slowly that's how these things you know slowly degrade they come off in these thin slabs which often have a curve to them and i wanted to do I mean, look at that that's just a shot like coming up alongside the, uh, okay. and it's close by for me, I'm like, wow. But uh, so I heard of, supposedly of the legend that he mentioned. And you know what else it reminds me of is the thing. <laughs> the thing, the skin of the thing. thing yeah. This almost, oh, looks, yeah. this I, almost looks like his face super, in a the, way. A superhero. Yeah, because he's, he's wow, made out of rock. Fantastic Four. He's mentioning Fantastic Four, the thing. It does remind you right there how it's broken up like that. But again, or or Gojiro, or was it yeah, Gojiro? Gojira. Gojira. That's Godzilla. The Japanese name of Godzilla. It's Gojira. This could be the the top of a Gojira head. <laughs> what is over here? Huh. I forgot he what they're called. Oh wow. What, what type of creatures they were? This is. Wow, this one's kind of flat. Like, mm. this is where I would expect to see some type yeah, of pe was, petroglyphs. You know, it's weird. You, well, or, actually, I would expect to be seeing more chalk marks than I'm seeing yeah. because that's flat as that are, yeah. is. But I think they lack more the the little rounded and parts with little crevices in there, so that they can grip better and yeah. do more technical. Maybe surgery. this is just too hard. Maybe maybe it's even. I don't know. That looks like it would kind of be easy to get up there, sort of. I yeah. have the shoes for that and stuff like that in there. And that piece is just sitting up there. Oh, that kind of looks like Alien from uh, from the Alien movies, maybe. Oh, well, yeah. You see the head and then the top. You know how the top oh, of the yeah, head is yeah, curved? Yeah. I see now what yeah. you're talking about. There's the mouth over there. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that man. Big, elongated head that they oh. have. Oh, that's crazy. It's just amazing how he's just sitting up there. That was... Wow. So you can see the rocks under the foliage. It's just kind of boom, boom, boom. This is like the dining room. And then the actual stable is right over there, I think. You got a natural re reverb in here. You yeah. don't have to use that reverb on the yeah. video. On the, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Wow, cool. Very neat. Awesome. 
I don't know why all these lo I guess all these caving and rock crawling and stuff like that. I think this is a great play field. Yeah. Now where we got kids. Where's that other uh, older kids? I don't know too much about the younger kids, but right down in there, that's where we were. Yeah. We were taking a water break. So you can see. Yeah. Now you can get to it through the other way, that other little... right over there, I can see my pack now. So you can go that way, or you can come up through here, or you, you can go the way. See this, to me, this would be a great climbing wall, but I don't see any chalk. Probably doesn't have any handholds. I mean, look at that. All right, so this is the interior of the stable. The governor stable, the actual stable, and here it is. And I'm, I'm glad I, I should probably go get my light because it's darker than I remembered. Looking down in there. Oh, wow. There you go. Oh, wow. You see that? So the entrance is over there. The other entrance is over there. But you can bring a horse. You could, if you want to, bring a horse down right in here. Oh, wow. So yeah. goes the legend. That makes sense. Uh, I figured it'd be cool to set up a shot. And you can get yeah, down. You can go right in through here. Yeah, you can get down there. So there's the oh, yeah. little crack we can go down and hang out in there and check that out. And then the. Uh, I'm gonna see if I have my um, flashlight in my pack really quick. Do you see that light? That little beam of light right yeah. there. On on the on the rock. Like it has a skylight. That's it. That's where the skylight is. Okay, I can see the. Straight up from there. I'm gonna go get my other camera too because I wanna just set up a still sh a shot here and then as we go down. <laughs> so right here, you can look around. And there. Oh yeah, yeah, that light's 12, perfect. I got my 1250 on. That's a good light. It's not a headlight, but it's just a regular... Uh-oh. Oh. What's going on? Uh-oh. We're losing all light. <laughs> oh, look at this feather. Oh, wow. That's... Nice. That might be a... We got a nice feather there again. Hey, wait, hold on one second. All right, so we're in the main chamber. This is the stable. This is where the, supposedly they kept the horses back in the day. Um, I'm going to go behind Lewis because he's got the light. Yeah. And that'll give you a kind of an idea of size there. I mean, it's plenty, plenty big for a horse. Although I don't know if any of these entrances over here are, would be passable with a horse anymore. These boulders look like they fell after. Yeah, so, um, well, then maybe the legend is just that, a legend. Mm -hmm. That's where we came down, right there. Okay. And we came, that's where I was, where I had to we whack came, the weeds, yeah. Over there, so. Look, look at this curvature of the rock, though, and how it's oh, a yeah. split. One, two, yeah. three. Oh, wow, yeah, this is, this is really the cool. Tell you what, I'm going to go up there. Alrighty. And I'll look down, because that's that's probably that's one of the, the skylight that's one of the cooler shots at the whole of yeah. the whole place here. Oh yeah. Cool. Well, All right, I'm gonna go check out the skylight while he stays down there, There's and then we're gonna get we get shots looking down. All right, so there he is. It doesn't look quite as big from this angle, but. Yeah. I think it's 15, 20 feet high. So now what I'm gonna do is try to get up here so I can do the skylight. But I gotta, I gotta get, oh, here we go. Boom, boom. So there's two ledges up here. I can make it look higher or lower. Okay, so this is, I mean, you could get up there too if you wanted, but out of the two ledges, this is the, this is the higher one. All right, I'm at the top of the skylight. That light you see there, that's Lewis. Probably about a 30 foot drop. Face or turn it can you shine it uh, up like shine it towards yourself for a second oh, okay. i want to see if i can get your 
Can't you get your face there. There you go. Yeah, I didn't know we were going to be doing this kind of caving. If not, I would have brought my helmet. <laughs> Here's a way over here. Oh, wait a second. Can you see? Where are you now? Oh, I see. So there's that little alcove there. Yeah. So I'm on the other side of the of the skylight. Right there is that little alcove. You go right under there is where that where we were sitting on the water break. That's kind of like the table, the dining room kind of thing. Oh wow! Oh, I found a good view. Holy moly! All right. So there. We initially came along this trail. That trail keeps going, but I think that goes down into somebody's. But I'm standing right above the big cave right now. In this area here, um, you know, I'm wondering if maybe this, this area here, combined with the two big caves, is what they consider to be the stable, because here you could bring you could bring horses, you could bring horses probably right up to here or maybe there. Or this whole thing is like a lair, basically. Um, and it would make for a good hideout if you're stealing horses because you could keep the horses here hidden during the day and then at night you could traffic them all up and down uh, here at Pennsylvania Dutch country. But you could have lookouts here. I mean, there's a lot of high points. You could post lookouts at all the, all the best, all the best uh, spots, so that you'd have plenty of warning. Somebody was coming down here to try to arrest you or shoot you. I don't know what they did with horse thieves in the 1700s. Probably just shot you, right? Because a horse, back then, I mean, a horse could make the difference between you living and dying, or. Uh, you know, living a life of destitution or, or, or having a productive farm or some kind of business. Horses were really super valuable. So if you stole somebody's horse, I mean, that was a, that was reason enough to shoot them. And again, this whole area, I have not explored this whole area. The second time I've been here, there's all kinds of nooks and crannies and caves and other stuff up here probably. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to take you back over the uh... so now that we see what it looks like from right above the big cave uh, let's go back across the skylight and go back down there Be careful here not to fall down through the skylight. Tell you what, hold on. Going for a little ride. So that's the skylight right there. From where the camera is to the floor of the um, to the floor of the big caves, I'd Maybe 40 feet, 35, 40 feet. This way, I don't know what's up this way. Let's poke around here. Here's another fissure. This one also looks out here. Oh, 
This is neat. Oh, this is an even better shot. Look at that. Hey, Lewis, where are you? Oh, this is a good shot. Okay, so <laughs> right there is where we were. There's the skylight. Big caves right there. This is kind of a, a different view of the whole thing. There's another, there's another big cave right there. So and I don't know where this goes. Let's climb up here. Ah. All right. Whoa. Now we're up pretty. Now we're up pretty high here. I'm on a downward slope, so I want to be careful. It's only about 20 to 30 foot drop, but still, it's enough to uh, it's enough to kill you. You land on your neck. Look at this over here. I would be interested to find some more shafts. Maybe we got right here. Aha, what's this? What have we here? Oh, wow. Here's another cave here. Huh. And also another fissure. I don't know. I don't know how much of that is. Here, let's 